It's just a real exciting time in Toronto because we're seeing expansions all over the place. And it's not only the city of Toronto, but it's all the surrounding areas. We're finally getting out there globally and everyone's recognizing us as a major player in North America. We're able to bring a finished product right off of that machine, which is eliminating any sort of rework we need to do in the shop. It's increasing our productivity, but more importantly, what we're finding is out in the field, fit up is happening in record time, which translates for a great cost savings to our customer. We're less time on the site, they're less time on the site. Our primary business is structural steel. We were cutting oxy before, you'd have to grind it for basically two weeks worth of work and everything. Now that we switched over to the plasma, within 45 minutes to an hour, we can cut a six by 10 sheet fully, 110 pieces, 300 holes. According to the scale of the hyperderm, we actually think we're pushing the boundaries even beyond because our holes are 13 16 and a two inch flange. That's actually unheard of. People I'm telling that they're saying it can't be done, but we're doing it. York University, Glendon campus, was for us an excellent project. We're especially proud of the architectural achievement that we received in that steel. Our tolerances absolutely had to be perfect. We actually use a 260. That's pretty much revolutionized the way we uh, fabricate steel these days. The thicknesses that we usually cut are between uh, an eighth of an inch up to two inches. Our cut quality uh, and uh, tolerances are plus or minus a millimeter. For simple W shapes, these take us anywhere between one and a half to two man hours per beam. These plasma machines now are running them in 15 to 20 minutes. And there'd be very little, if any, cleanup after the W shapes come off the machine. All our projects are mainly industrial, commercial, multi-story, warehousing. The Sobeys distribution center was actually a 80-foot clear height and the seven-story that we just came off of in Mississauga, you know, all moment connections, so the tolerances were pretty tight and uh, it worked out actually perfect. Toronto does have a lot of construction, but on the other hand, Toronto's got a lot of competition. So if you're not trying to save every penny you can, you're going to be pretty much priced out of the market. If you're going to be in this industry for the next five to ten years, I don't see you being able to compete if the plants don't have this equipment. <laughs>